All right, there, guys. I'd like to welcome y'all to my first stream. Happy Cinco de Mayo to everybody. I figured what would be a greater day to do this and to use the Empire of Spain. So normally <clears throat> I like to run the campaign of either long campaign or world domination. Um, today we're going to do world domination. We're going to give France a fighting chance this time. Um, but this is Empire Total War. Um, I don't have the Darth Mine. I had it on my old laptop. Um, and I think I still have it in my Steam. So I might download that eventually. Um, right now Wi Fi is kind of a spotty at times. So it's really hard to get that downloaded. Um, but I figured that this is my first stream. So I'm trying to start something new. Uh, been recently let go at a job and I figured hey well we'll try this since uh, I'm in a job market looking for another job uh, just recently left my job in the trucking industry so I thought well hell just give me enough time to maybe do something with some online stuff which is something I've always wanted to do so here we are I actually have the time now to actually do it Let's try to get this underway. Now I'll probably play this game a lot differently than a lot of people. Um, I know that a lot of people ask um, their audiences and stuff. And when I grow my audience, you know, I'll start asking you all kind of like, uh, what would y'all like me to do, or anything like that just to get things going, but normally I try to keep the military uh, to a minimum at first, um, but bolstering a good navy also helps whenever you get into trade and stuff later on. Trade is a huge asset in the beginnings of your empire. I'm trying to remember. I haven't played Spain in a long time, so and I can't quite remember if they're Portugal is Protestant or Catholic. I guess we'll come over here and take a little sneak peek. And there you are. So we want to come over here to Morocco with our priest and try to start converting them. Which the thing about Spain is, is that she operates in two different theaters. So she's kind of like Great Britain, um, fast empire, and it's can get tricky to maintain, especially over here in Flanders. Here I always go with the military because you got the Netherlands and France. If you don't uh, get those partnerships done early, they will try to annihilate you later on, which is never fun. So we're going to look here. We're going to take a look at our ministers, which is always a good thing to look at. You want to look at your best. We are an absolute monarchy, which I absolutely love. Over here, you just look at different traits and stuff like that. You know, some somebody new that's getting into the game. Um, time for reforming an absolute monarchy, uh, which is going to be a problem later on uh, once your enlightenment research comes along, which is your philosophy, once you start researching uh, these, which uh, you cannot really see right now. Hang on real quick, let me fix that. Uh, there we go. Um, your people are going to become very mad anyways, uh, so that's when trade will come in handy, so you can uh, build up and booster your military around your cities, um, and, and uh, Upgrading your farming area and uh, your industrial technology is going to help out <clears throat> with that also if you can get that early uh, because this will generate wealth over time and the earlier you do it, the better off you'll be. Uh, that will be able to bolster and support your military later on, especially when it comes to uh, world domination. So that's always handy. 
um, and your big trade is going to come from the Americas so you want to make sure that all your land over here is in good settlement which is mainly where I stay at at first uh, there's with Spain there is a few um, things to worry about over in Europe but mostly this is what you want to protect this is your this is basically your uh, I've got to take Texas for that. Okay. Um, this is your main hub. This is where you're going to be uh, making your money and stuff. And I mean, I'm going to go here. So we got pirates and stuff to deal with as well. Um, okay, gotcha. So we'll look here. We'll uh, open up your diplomacy, which is going to be something that's going to open up uh, diplomacy acts, uh, declare war. Uh, allies, different things like that, which Spain is not looking too good right now. Um, obviously, we have to get some more ports, and to do that, the fast way to do that is to come over here to this tab and go to your policies and lower your taxes. Um, but that's also a risk taking. Normally, things that you don't want to do within the first. Oh, I have a terrible team. Um, Typically not the first thing you want to do uh, whenever you start out. These are some terrible people. Okay. Um, that really doesn't help me out there. That guy. I really want a revolution, don't I? Alright, well he'll be good at head of state, so maybe we can get rid of that guy. And we can get rid of all these other separate guys to allow better ones to come in, but at least now we can replace the head of state. And Spain right now is at war with the Cherokee Nation, Plains Nations, and Pirates. Lovely. So since we are at war with the Cherokee here, we might actually have our first battle here. Pikemen are freaking awesome to have, especially against the Indians, which often can become a serious freaking nuisance if you don't handle them quickly, which is exactly what we're about to do here with Georgia, which is something that we're going to have to acquire, and I guess it hasn't given me that mission yet, but it'll give me the mission so that New Spain down here can join us, which I know is going to be Texas. And some other nations we've got to uh, take over, so we we can acquire them because we're the protectorate right now. But welcome to the stream, guys. I hope y'all enjoy the source video that I'm creating. I hope that hope y'all enjoy it and support me. Hit that like button, uh, subscribe because there'll be plenty more. Um, other content I'll be sharing is uh, we're doing some Madden 22. We do some NASCAR. Um, I have Sims on here, you know, if that's something that y'all want to do. You know, just kind of give me some ideas to, to run off of, and we can certainly get it in there. Um, I love playing video games. It's something that's been a pastime for me since I was a kid. And I've just, it's just been really enjoyable. And seeing the success of other people in this industry, it's really uh, got me into wanting to do some videos. And of course you're going to do that. Uh, bit outgunned. Well, this will be our first battle. So let's see how we do. <clears throat> I don't really like playing <clears throat> the um, naval battles so much because they're so slow. Um, <clears throat> so you, I will not be doing a lot of those uh, as far as doing these, but since the first stream in Cinco de Mayo, why not? Huge cannon ships, why not? 
Another time you'll see this and go to my old video. Right yes, 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 yes. I know. Quite a bit. Yo, um, got this halfway set up. I really don't have a good setup right now. Hopefully so that'll change here in the forthcoming. As you can tell, I am using cards to hold this in place. <coughs> The thought that Naval battles are frequently a series of individual duels between ships, but there is value in maintaining formation and contact with the Admiral for as long as possible. The morale-boosting effect of being close to the flagship can be passed from ship to ship as long as they are within hailing distance of each other. As y'all can tell, this takes forever, so I'm just going to speed up time real quick, let them mosey along. This ship is sailing into a headwind, so she is only able to make a slow progress on her current heading. Zigzagging back and forth across the wind helps to improve speed and makes one less vulnerable to enemy fire, whilst the frequent turns required present more firing opportunities. Starboard broadside button loads your guns ready to fire. The advancing red band around the button indicates how close you are to being ready. When this is complete, click on the button again to unleash a full broadside. Be aware that the success of this order relies on your own timing.
no. Well, here you go. We didn't do too well. Like I said, I don't really do naval battles, but <laughs> pirates won that one. Don't worry, that won't happen too often. I'll try to keep this as honest as I can. Trinidad is down here and pulling, like I said, we'll probably have to go to war with them. Uh, but here, <coughs> have the, no, no, I'm sorry, uh, Trinidad over here. And we have to take Texas as well, which luckily I believe we're already at war with those six nowhere at peace. sure we can get the troops built up. And then we'll also get one of those going. And actually let's hold off on that for right now. We'll hold off on that. Get some more line infantry going. We'll give them a general. This is a battle I like to do. Land battles I love. <clears throat> I've been playing this game for actually quite some time now. It's been a couple of years since I've played this game. It's a good past time. I figured I would share it with you guys. Hopefully you'll enjoy it as much as me. Indians absolutely love melee, so I always like to put my pikemen up front and center because they are amazing when it comes to melee. I'm hoping I can entice them to come over here in these flatlands, but if not, we'll have militia here. Waiting to charge them on their cavalry general. Then our line infantry will march with the pikemen. Most of the time, I like to bring the battle to them. Sometimes you can get the cavalry to kind of get them to go in the direction you want them to go, but as you can see here, they're here, so there's going to be some units hidden in these brushes, so that's always a fun thing also. Since we have both of those marching up, we're going to bring up our militia as well, so we're not hindered by any surprises. 
have cannons to be protected by a general. He should be able to get them under control if anything was to happen. Indians can be very tricky in this game. They are fast melee little demons. Which can absolutely turn into a nightmare if you're not careful. Let's fast forward time to get this moving along. If I can spot any of them with my cavalry. Kind of feels like guerrilla warfare right now. <laughs> All the trees and shrubbery. It's pretty cool. And we're in the Americas, so it's pretty exciting. So far, I haven't spotted any of them yet, which is odd. Speed it up. And I just saw them over there. So now our cannons will surely have something to shoot at, hopefully. Oh. As you can tell, like I said, sneaky. I'm gonna push up here, take care of them real quick. Try and get them involved. Horses are on the run. We'll bring them up here. Cavalry. Gonna take care of those. And we'll have these come into here. Cannons, you can begin opening and firing on those. If you will. General, we may need your help over here. Square, reform line, 
Calvary. One, go ahead and shift. Watch over here. Double time, double time, gentlemen, double time. Right, so you can go into reserve. They're shattered. They're shattered. Good, good, good. Going to melee, and we will send in our general and cavalry to clean them up. I can stop firing. And they're shattered. It's always good to use cavalry. They are oh, an essential in the army. Absolutely essential. Rather good battle though. I enjoyed that one. <clears throat> and me and uh, normal people just, uh, or generally, uh, the best way to play this game is to put the battles on a little bit hardened because AI is kind of dumb when it comes to this game and makes it a little more challenging um, whenever you do do that. Of course, they're not going to be very happy right off the bat. Now we have Georgia. Which we're going to have to move our troops. I just wanted to take care of the Indians because Indians, they tend to be a thorn in your side later on in the game. So that's always fun. You want to make sure that you keep your diplomatics up as well. Something that you just need to make sure that you keep an eye on. I mean being a Portugal, you know, take take advantage of that trade if you can. Normally you can entice them. Which that is a no-go. Don't really have anything to offer them or try them with the same offer. I don't really want Lombardi. Pretty sure I'm butchering that name, but Lombardi, I believe that's what it's called. But we'll try that again later. Again, those are the only two nations that we can really trade with right now because um, right now the ports that we are currently using are at full capacity. So. Take a look again at our ministers, see who we got here. He's a commissioner, so he'll pretty much stay right there. And he's a jokehead, which is not good for an absolute monarchy. So, we'll end our turn there. I'm going to do about 45 minute uh, videos. Um, obviously, we can go a lot longer with this game. Um, but yeah, just something to give you guys to look at and for me to start out on and just see how things go. See if it's something that I'm going to enjoy doing or if it's going to be something that's going to be an utter failure. You know? So we'll see how it goes and how you guys enjoy it. Hopefully I do, because this will be something very enjoyable to do, um, which is going to be uh, based on you guys, uh, depending on if y'all enjoy it as well as I do, or 
or not. And the ruling class is hoping you do. 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 Cotton <laughs> has a bad history there, nonetheless. Um, he basically give me the same thing as his treasure, and he's older. Well, this isn't a very immersive game. Uh, it's a uh, more of a step-by-step -step game, just knowing what you're doing, um, learning the game configurations, which was the main thing for me to understand um, whenever I started out on this game, because I promise you when I started out here, I was nonetheless terrible at this game. Well, we have those repeated. We're going to get one more going there. Yes, yes. Look at that. <clears throat> Looks like Savoy, yeah? Savoy. I know you guys are going to butcher me with the names, but <laughs> I'm doing my best. Oh, let's see here. Alright, so Savoy has declared war on us. They have trade partners with France. Well, France is planning to win in this war. Bavaria probably will. New Spain most definitely will. Let's see what France does. They join. Well, should look at that. Looks like Morocco has done the same. I don't think they're going to need my allies for this. And they're so far away. Should be able to handle them. Pretty much on my own. <clears throat> so, as you can tell, the. Uh, Wars are beginning. We should be able to wipe them out pretty easily. <clears throat> there is unused land suitable for farms. Building farms here <clears throat> will help the population to grow over time. Of course, you would do that, Morocco. So we're going to begin moving our troops down here. Two cannons, so that's good. We're gonna need some line infantry. We have four spots, so that's good. So we get two line infantry, two horses. That looks good. We're moving our armies down there. 
I'm going to come back over here to the Americas. I wish I would have been able to save that fleet. This home is leveled up pretty good before all means now. Oh no, why, why are you going that way? Oh, that's why. It's okay for me. I'm just going to get you in there. Oh, I really need that navy. That was kind of bone crushing right there. Um. Yeah. And this is what I don't like. I don't actually know if there's still 13 colonies. And I'm kind of hindering them with Georgia, so hopefully they won't turn into Great Britain. Let's see what we have here. Perfect. You're definitely going to be replaced by him, but I also need to get rid of... work out. Nice. Perfect. And Georgia is doing fantastic now. Oh. Now there was something that I did see over here that I need to acknowledge before it's too late. And there's a weird glitch here and um <laughs> with the uh, the Ottoman Empire to where these land masses, as you'll see right here between uh, 
Gibraltar and uh, the Moroccan capital, if you put a ship there, uh, you can't cross over. Uh, so there are some glitches here in this game that should have been fixed a long time ago. Being the game is so old and really didn't have a really big basis. Um, which I don't mind. I still enjoy playing it. Um, they never got around to fixing those glitches. We'll go ahead and work on that. <clears throat> now that we have a pretty substantial army right here to take on them, we should be fine there. Definitely need some more cannons. I don't think I can do cannons. So, definitely need some more horses. One minute. So this is the area I'm most concerned about, so I want to make sure that we can uh, keep this under control. Alright guys, and then um, <clears throat> on other parts of the, the campaign and different things like that, uh, it'll be coming in differently, because uh, I'll be playing this pretty much off screen as well. Um, so it won't be exactly like this whenever we get back. Um, there are other campaigns that I will probably do on my own as well, so the way I can kind of get it get it developed a little more uh, to where it can be more immersive and more fun for you guys, uh, with just better weaponry and different things like that it makes the battles way more awesome. Y'all yeah, will enjoy that. But uh, thank you for coming and watching the uh, first video. Um, of Empire Total War. I uh, hope y'all enjoy, and until next time, I'll see you guys later.